Did you know that in 2024, some of the biggest stars from the golden age of entertainment are still with us? From the legendary Ray Anthony, who is currently 102 years of age, to iconic violinist and music composer Elizabeth Waldo, who is 106 of age. Their contributions have left an indelible mark on our hearts and minds. Here are the legendary stars who have enriched our lives for decades. Number one on our list is Ray Anthony. Ray Anthony is one of the oldest celebrities still alive. He is a renowned American band leader, trumpet player, and actor who was born on January 20th, 1922. During the big band era, Ray Anthony rose to prominence as a member of the Glenn Miller Orchestra and went on to lead his own popular ensemble. His rendition of the Dragnet theme and the instrumental hit, The Bunny Hop, are among his other well-known works. At the time, Ray went by the nickname Pex Bad Boy. As previously indicated, Glenn Miller kept firing and then hiring him again until the legendary orchestra conductor was murdered during the conflict. After that, Ray started his own band to play swing and other vintage songs. Ray has further opportunities to write music and perform in films and television shows because of his ongoing popularity. When his marriage to blonde bombshell Mamie Van Dorn failed, Ray wasn't going to give up. At this period, almost every actress working in Hollywood at the time, including Ray, flirted in acting. Ray's physical similarity to Cary Grant was always noted, which helped him immensely when it came to getting ladies. Likewise, it's nearly impossible to think of one actress from the 1950s or 1960s that Ray didn't date, even if he never boasted about it. He had a magical touch when it came to stunning women. It wasn't for nothing that he was widely recognized as All The Way Ray. Through his leadership of bands and his recordings of CDs, such as the Dream Dancing series, Ray Anthony brought the big band period back into the 21st century. He has recorded alongside Frank Sinatra and Mel Torme, two of his friends. He ran a side business selling CDs that featured a wide range of historical musical genres. And Ray is capable of playing them all, not only big band jazz. The leader of the big band is currently 102 years old. Even though he is now retired, he still encourages his horde of friends to get out there and keep his name alive. Number two on our list is Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke, who was born on December 13, 1925, is among the oldest celebrities still alive as of 2024. At 98, Van Dyke is not the oldest celebrity still living, but he is undoubtedly one of the most lasting and well-liked characters in show business. He started his acting career more than 10 years ago, making guest appearances on a number of television shows. Following his creation of the lead role of Albert F. Peterson in the 1960 Broadway version of Bye Bye Birdie. Among his well-known creations are Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, The Dick Van Dyke Show, and Mary Poppins. In addition, he received a great deal of recognition, such as a Tony Award, a Grammy Award, and admission into the Television Hall of Fame. His career has lasted more than 70 years. He is a legendary character in Hollywood thanks to his versatility as a comedian, actor, singer, and dancer. Audiences all over the world continue to be intrigued with his positive attitude and charm. Van Dyke has continued to be active into his late 90s, occasionally appearing in movies and television shows, demonstrating his incredible tenacity and vitality. Number three on our list is Rita Moreno. Though Rita Moreno has been a Hollywood icon for a long time, she is not the oldest celebrity alive in 2024. On December 11, 1931, Moreno was born. In 2024, she will be 92 years old. Renowned for her work as an actress, singer, and dancer, she is best recognized for winning an Academy Award for her performance in West Side Story in 1961, having earned an EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. She is among the select few performers in the field. In Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins' 1961 masterpiece, West Side Story, Moreno played Anita, the role that made her famous and earned her place in the annals of film musical history. She won an Academy Award 
for Best Supporting Actress for the role. In 2023, at the age of 92, Moreno starred in both Kyle Marvin's comedy in 80 for Brady and Louis Leterrier's Fast X, the 10th installment in the Fast and Furious franchise. Rita Moreno is still a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment business. Next celebrity to consider is mom. Number four on the list is Eva Marie Saint. In fact, among the most senior celebrities still living in 2024 is Eva Marie Saint. She turned 100 on July 4, 1924, the day of her birth. Oscar-winning actress Saint is well known for her parts in classic movies like Alfred Hitchcock's North by Northwest and On the Waterfront, in which she co-starred with Marlon Brando, which brought her to the spotlight for which she won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. Saint's television career started as an NBC page. She had an appearance in the 1946 to 1947 season of Campus Hoopla on NBC TV. The audio recordings of her appearances on this program are kept in the Library of Congress and her performances are captured on rare kinescope. She also made an appearance as one of the original singing Bonnie Maids in the live ads for Bonnie Maids Versatile Varieties on NBC in 1949. At the age of 89, Saint made her movie debut in Akiva Goldsman's Winter's Tale in 2014. That same year, she provided the voice of Korra for season four of Netflix's The Legend of Korra. She was nominated for two British Academy Film Awards, a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award. She also received a Primetime Emmy. She is one of the few remaining actors from Hollywood's Golden Age. Saint is the oldest living and earliest surviving Academy Award recipient. Number five on our list is Rosemary Harris. At 96 years old, Rosemary Harris will be among the oldest celebrities still alive in 2024. Harris is a well-known British actress who has performed both on stage and in movies. Her portrayal of Aunt May in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy brought her a great deal of fame. 96-year-old Harris still has work scheduled through 2025, including a part in the documentary comedy Oscar Wilde About America, directed by James Andrew Walsh. The three-time Olivier Award winner has continued to work well past the age of 80. At the age of 91, Harris played Mrs. Higgins in the Broadway revival of My Fair Lady in 2018. Playing Ophelia opposite Peter O'Toole in the National Theatre Company's premiere of Shakespeare's Hamlet, Harris rose to prominence as one of the industry's most sought-after actors. Among her many honors are eight additional Tony nominations and an Oscar nomination for supporting actress for the 1994 film Tom and Viv. Number six on our list is Dame Judi Dench. Dench has had one of the most acclaimed careers in history, spanning almost seven decades, with eight Oscar nominations, 15 BAFTA and SAG nods, and a Tony. At 62, she received her first Academy Award nomination for John Madden's love drama, Mrs. Brown, in 1997. The following year, Dench took home the prize for her performance as Queen Elizabeth I in Madden's Shakespeare in Love. In 2021, she participated in Kenneth Branagh's Belfast, for which she received a nomination for Best Supporting Actress at the age of 86. This was her most recent performance at Hollywood's Greatest Night. Dench made her stage debut in 1957 as Ophelia in a production of Shakespeare's Hamlet by the Old Vic Company of the Royal Court Theatre. She became well known in the theatre as a member of the Royal Shakespeare Company and the National Theatre Company. She then made her screen debut in the James Bond blockbuster, GoldenEye, which opened her a global audience. Dench is still well-liked and a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Number seven on our list is Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett, who turns 91 in 2024, is still a well-liked personality in the entertainment industry. Burnett is a groundbreaking comedian, actor, and writer who is best known for her innovative variety show, The Carol Burnett Show. Her influence on humor and television has lasted a long time. 
With the debut of The Carol Burnett Show, the first variety show presented by a woman in 1967, Burnett truly broke new ground. Over the course of its more than 10-year run, the series garnered 25 Emmys out of 70 nominations. After becoming well-known thanks to the play, Burnett starred in movies including Alan Alda's The Four Seasons and John Huston's Annie, went back to Broadway for Moon Over Buffalo, for which she received a second Tony nomination, and made appearances in TV shows like Glee and Better Call Saul. Even in her 90s, comedy icon Carol Burnett continues to make people laugh. Following years of honing her craft in New York nightclubs, Burnett eventually achieved a Tony-nominated role in the 1959 musical Once Upon a Mattress. Her many appearances on The Gary Moore Show, for which she received an Emmy, and her role in Daniel Mann's comedy Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed with Dean Martin helped to shape her public character. Let's dive into the life of another amazing oldest living celebrity. Number eight on our list is Jacqueline White. Jacqueline White, who was born on November 23, 1922, will be 101 years old in 2024, making her one of the oldest celebrities still alive. American actress White is most recognized for her roles during the 1940s and 1950s. She starred in a number of well-known movies such as The Narrow Margin and Crossfire. Despite having a brief acting career, White rose to fame for her roles in classic film noir and other genres. White's efforts in a UCLA drama class led to her cinematic debut. She played a few supporting parts, but her breakthrough roles were in the 1943 comedy Air Raid Wardens, starring Laurel and Hardy, who made their MGM debut together. White typically had supporting roles in A movies or roles as featured heroines in B movies. White was contracted to Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, where she was primarily used in small, uncredited roles. Jacqueline has been out of the movie business for a while, but she has recently started showing up at conventions and film festivals. White is not the oldest celebrity alive, but she is one of the oldest amongst them because of her lengthy career and noteworthy contributions to Hollywood. Number nine on our list is Elizabeth Waldo. As of 2024, Elizabeth Waldo, who was born on June 18, 1918, is 106 years old and among the oldest celebrities still alive. American ethnomusicologist, violinist, composer, conductor, and ethnomusicologist Waldo rose to fame for her efforts to preserve and explore indigenous music, particularly that of Native American and Latin American cultures. She frequently blended traditional instruments and melodies from other cultures into classical forms in her compositions and performances. Don Diego encouraged Miss Waldo to conduct in-depth research and devise musical hieroglyphics, which would enable modern musicians to play uncommon pre-Columbian styles on their contemporary instruments by elucidating her need to comprehend the music of ancient Mesoamerican cultures, for which no musical notation has ever been found. As a result of her work with indigenous and Indo-Hispanic performers, Miss Waldo started adding and writing music in Asian idioms in the 1980s, with a focus on China. Later, one of the first ensembles to bring Chinese music and dance to the Los Angeles school system was her Pan-Asian Ensemble. Miss Waldo received an invitation to perform her Concierto Indo-Americano with the Xi'an Symphony in the ancient Chinese capital as part of a follow-up cultural exchange with several Chinese conservatories. Currently, she incorporates this recently coined Chinese idiom into her live performances, recordings, and lecture demo sessions of South Winds music. Waldo has established a special position for herself in the entertainment and academic domains thanks to her contributions to ethnomusicology and world music. Amazingly, she is one of the most enduring public figures at 106 years old, outliving many of her contemporaries. Number 10 on our list is Karen Marsh Dahl. Born and raised in the center of Hollywood, Karen Marsh Dahl always had a passion for show business. 
she worked in a number of musical shows after pursuing a career in dancing. Even though the majority of her work was done behind the scenes, her reputation is nevertheless greatly enhanced by her connection to one of the most cherished movies ever made. She is the only cast member from The Wizard of Oz that is known to still be alive. Despite having a minor, uncredited role in the movie, she is the only known survivor of the Gone with the Wind cast. At the age of 105 in 2024, Karen Marsh Dahl is among the oldest celebrities still alive. She was a dancer and actor in the past. She is most renowned for dancing in several MGM musicals during Hollywood's Golden Age and for filling in for Judy Garland in The Wizard of Oz. Marsh Dahl retired from the entertainment world after a successful career as a dancer on stage and cinema. She received praise for her traveling shows, especially for the way she combined Hollywood-style choreography with classical dance. Despite suffering serious injuries in a near-fatal plane crash in 1949, Marsh Dahl managed to live and resume her career as a teacher and performer. Her remarkable life narrative included both this encounter and her career. Karen Marsh Dahl is a beloved character in film history and one of the last surviving connections to Hollywood's golden age. She continues to be among the oldest celebrities still alive. Her persistence continues to inspire people who remember her work and those she touched as a teacher. Her legacy persists as a symbol of the grace and brilliance that typified early Hollywood. Next up is an extremely talented and prolific songwriter. Number 11 on our list is Mel Brooks. Born on June 28, 1926, Mel Brooks is a renowned American comedian, writer, actor, and director. Even at 98 years old in 2024, he is still regarded as one of the most cherished and significant personalities in comedy and entertainment. Acclaimed for his keen insight, ridiculous comedy, and skillful parodies, Brooks has made a lasting impression on theater, television, and film. Mel Brooks is still regarded as a popular figure in entertainment, even in his latter years. His roles at special events, award shows, and interviews have not stopped, and his comedic works in movies and television series are still praised for their ageless quality. His long-awaited 1981 film sequel, History of the World, Part Two, was finally published on Hulu in 2023, demonstrating the continued success of his humorous legacy. Being the first performer to win an Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award in their career, Brooks is among the select few. His Grammy was won for the producer's musical soundtrack, but his Emmys were awarded for his guest appearances on programs like Mad About You. Mel Brooks's impact on comedy is immense, since his daring and experimental humor helped to mold the genre. His legacy as a comic genius will last for many years to come. His work has influenced countless comedians, filmmakers, and authors over the years. In addition, Mel received combat engineering training while serving with the 78th Division's 1104 Engineer Combat Battalion after enrolling in the Army Reserve Specialized Training Program during World War II. Number 12, zero in our list is Lee Grant. American actress and director Lee Grant was born on October 31st, 1925, and has had a spectacular career in theater, film, and television. She is still regarded as a prominent figure in the entertainment world in 2024 at the age of 98, having gained recognition for her resilience and adaptability in addition to her talent. Grant's career started while she was quite young in 1931 when she made her theatrical debut in the Metropolitan Opera's production of Laura Colo. Grant studied ballet throughout her adolescence and teenage years, attending various prestigious ballet academies such as Juilliard. Grant debuted as an understudy in Oklahoma in 1944 in her first professional theatrical appearance. Grant received her first nomination for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 1951, the year she made her screen debut in Detective Story. Grant did, however, have an immense splash in Hollywood until her career was cut short in 1952 
when she was blacklisted as an actor. According to reports, Grant's marriage to Arnold Manoff and her connections with other blacklisted performers led to her being placed on the blacklist. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Lee Grant experienced a notable comeback with the lifting of the blacklist. Her portrayal of a troubled and rich woman named Felicia in Shampoo won her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. This solidified her reputation as a strong actor capable of portraying complicated, emotionally stirring parts. Remaining a symbol of tenacity and artistic brilliance, Lee Grant, who won the Oscar in 2024 at the age of 98, is one of the oldest living winners. Number 13 on our list is Brigitte Ober. The 99 years old French actress Brigitte Ober is most well known for her performance abroad in Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 film To Catch a Thief, co-starring with Grace Kelly and Cary Grant as Danielle Foussard. Although Ober had already created a name for herself in French films before this role, her performance in the movie elevated her to a prominent position in the world of international filmmaking. Brigitte Aubert's career consisted mostly of work in French television and film. She didn't make it big in Hollywood, but she did stay in France and keep producing quality work. She made numerous cinema appearances in the 1950s, 1960s, and beyond. Aubert performed well into her later years and had a prosperous career in theater and television as well. She became well known in French culture due to her extended career in the field. As of 2024, Brigitte Ober is 99 years old and one of the oldest living actresses. Number 14 on the list is June Lockhart. American actress June Lockhart was born on June 25, 1925. She is currently 99 years old. Her most well-known performances were in the renowned television shows Lassie and Lost in Space, which cemented her place in American popular culture. With a career spanning more than 70 years, Lockhart is a notable figure in entertainment history thanks to her contributions to theater, television, and film. June Lockhart was born into a family with a strong background in show industry in New York City. Both her mother, Kathleen Lockhart, and father, Gene Lockhart, were well-known actors. Lockhart's early interest in performing evolved from her upbringing in a theatrical setting. She made her screen debut with her parents in A Christmas Carol, in which her father played Bob Cratchit. Even in her latter years, she continued to appear in theater and film productions, in addition to her work on television. For her work on Lassie, Lockhart was nominated for two Emmy Awards, and her services to television were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Even at 99 years old in 2024, June Lockhart is still regarded as a legendary figure in the history of entertainment. She is among the last stars from Hollywood's golden age, and she has made a lasting contribution to science fiction and family entertainment. Another star to consider who is still very much active and energetic despite her age is no other than. Number 15 on our list is Jane Fonda. Born on December 21, 1937, Jane Fonda is a well-known American actress, fitness expert, and activist. In 2024, Fonda will be 86 years old, and she will still be significant in both Hollywood and social activity. She has received numerous honors throughout her career, including two Academy Awards, and has emerged as a resilient figure who keeps coming up with new ideas while retaining her position as a significant figure in politics and culture. Most recently, Fonda made an appearance in the musical film This Is Me Now, A Love Story, directed by Dave Myers and inspired by Jennifer Lopez. Prior to that, Fonda had appeared in three films at the age of 85. 80 for Brady, Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, and Book Club, The Next Chapter. Jane Fonda is recognized for her fervent activism as well. Fonda has been involved in racial justice, environmental, and women's rights movements throughout her whole life. She has been a well-known supporter of climate action in recent years, 
organizing weekly demonstrations in Washington, D.C. called Fire Drill Fridays to increase public awareness of climate change. In the 1980s, Fonda rose to fame not only for her activism and acting, but also as a fitness star. Her revolutionary Jane Fonda's workout films popularized aerobics and at-home exercise. With multiple follow-up videos and books, Fonda's fitness empire grew even further, making the DVD the best-selling VHS of its time. As of 2024, Jane Fonda will be remembered as a trailblazer who profoundly impacted politics, Hollywood, and popular culture. She has been relevant for decades because of her ability to reinvent herself, whether it is as a serious dramatic actress, fitness coach, or activist. Her advocacy continues to inspire new generations, and her work as an actor is regarded as revolutionary, especially for its powerful female themes. Yeah. Jane Fonda is still very much involved in her community, energetic and active at the age of 86. Number 16 on the list is Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, who took office as the 39th President of the United States from 1977 to 1981, was born on October 1, 1924. In 2024, he will be 99 years old, one of the oldest living former U.S. Presidents, a world-renowned humanitarian, and a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. With his charity, the Carter Center, Carter has worked to advance global health, democracy, and human rights. He is highly regarded for his post-presidential accomplishments in these areas. High rates of unemployment, inflation, and an oil crisis also characterized Carter's presidency, creating economic challenges that concealed many of his accomplishments. Carter received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002 in recognition of his unwavering commitment to advancing human rights and peace. His decades-long efforts as a peacemaker, including those made through the Carter Center, were acknowledged by the Nobel Committee. In addition, Carter is a prolific author of autobiographies, presidential reflections, and books on public service and faith. Much of his public life has been guided by his strong Christian beliefs. Carter has struggled with health issues in the past few years, including hospital stays due to falls and cancer treatments. He persisted in working with the Carter Center and supporting humanitarian causes, in spite of these difficulties, until he was admitted to hospice care in the early months of 2023. Carter, who is 99 years old, is recognized as one of the most influential humanitarians of the 20th and 21st century for his extraordinary life of service. Number 17 on our list is Priscilla Pointer. At the age of 100 in 2024, Pointer is praised for her varied acting career, especially for her roles in classic TV series and movies from the 1970s and 1980s, as well as her partnerships with her daughter, actress Amy Irving. Pointer made her theatrical debut in a number of Broadway plays. Her early work concentrated on dramatic and classical parts, winning her respect and recognition from the theater world. She added to her reputation as a talented and adaptable actor during the 1950s and 1960s by participating in a number of significant theater performances. Throughout her career, her versatility in handling various genres and mediums has made her a dependable character actor. Pointer is hailed as one of the generation's most enduring talents, and her century-long life and career demonstrate the commitment and tenacity required to survive in Hollywood. Number 18 on our list is David Attenborough. One of the finest naturalists and communicators of our time, David Attenborough was born in London on May 8, 1926, and works as a broadcaster, author, and natural historian. Known for his innovative work in natural history documentaries and his unwavering support for conservation and environmental awareness. David's love of the natural world began at a young age. As a child, he collected rocks, fossils, and other natural items. The foundation for his future profession as a natural historian and television host was laid by his zoology degree. Throughout his extensive career, Attenborough has produced some of the most well-known and significant natural history shows ever. 
His documentaries have completely changed how the general public views and comprehends nature. Several scientific and environmental groups have recognized Attenborough for his conservation efforts, and he has been named after a number of species, including a recently found fish species and an ancient plesiosaur. David Attenborough is one of the most important personalities in modern history, because even at 98 years old, his life and work continue to have an impact on people all around the world. Number 19 zero in our list is Carla Belenda. American actress Carla Belenda was born on November 22, 1925, and is most recognized for her roles in movies and television in the 1950s and 1960s. Throughout her career, Belinda was frequently given supporting parts, but her portrayals in westerns, crime dramas, and adventure programs left a lasting impression. She was born Sally Bliss, and as her acting career progressed, took the stage name Carla Belinda. In the late 1940s, she made her film debut, playing small parts in motion pictures before switching to television, where she was able to secure more steady employment. Despite not having as much fame as some of the biggest performers of the time, Carla Belenda's memorable parts in a wide range of programs helped to create the golden age of American television. Her career is a tribute to the many actresses of the 1950s who established stable careers in Hollywood, starring in a plethora of iconic television shows and motion pictures. Number 20 on our list is David Frankham, with a career spanning several decades, Frankham is one of the oldest living actors as of 2024 at the age of 98. He is well known for his parts in beloved TV shows and movies. Frankham had a quiet life away from the spotlight after quitting performing in the 1970s. He has, nevertheless, on occasion, made an appearance at Star Trek fan conventions and gatherings where he is honored for his contributions to the horror and sci-fi genres. Later in life, he did voice work and recorded audiobooks. He released his autobiography, Which One Was David?, in which he describes his adventures in Hollywood, his acting career, and his relationships with some of the biggest stars of the day. David Frankham's career is distinguished by his ability to work in both film and television, as well as his versatility. Fans of mid-century film and television have grown to love him despite the fact that he is perhaps best known for his roles in horror movies and television series. He has also made contributions to vintage Hollywood. Frankham is still one of the oldest actors from Hollywood's golden age, living at the age of 98. Number 21 on our list is Maria Riva. Maria Riva is undoubtedly one of the oldest living stars in 2024, having been born on December 13, 1924. Maria Riva, who established her own career in film and television, was the daughter of the renowned actress Marlene Dietrich. She made several television appearances in the 1950s, but her most well-known work is perhaps her in-depth biography of her mother, which provided an open window into the life of one of Hollywood's most recognizable characters. Despite having a shorter acting career than her mother, Maria Riva's legacy has been solidified by her writing and her association with Hollywood history. She is still a living link to the era of cinema as of 2024, having reached almost 100 years of age. Number 22 on our list is Jean Chalit. NBC's The Today Show is well known for having featured American film and book critic Jean Chalit who was born on March 25, 1926, there for a long period of time between 1970 and 2010. With his enormous mustache, unusual glasses, bright bow ties, and pun-filled reviews, Shalit is known for his distinct style. He is among the oldest media figures alive as of 2024, at the age of 98. He began working in journalism at an early age. He worked in print media, writing book and movie reviews to numerous journals and newspapers before he became well-known from television. Shalit lived a more secluded existence and mainly left the public eye after departing from the Today Show in 2010. On the other hand, his efforts to popularize film critique on network television had a long-lasting effect on how movies were covered in the media. 
Of all the media figures of his era, Jean Chalit is one of the most memorable. For many years, he has been a cherished character due to his humorous style of film critique and his eccentric personality. In the American media as of 2024, Chalit is one of the oldest living people at 98 years old. Number 23 on the list is Marilyn Nolden. The retired American child actor Marilyn Nolden was born on May 12, 1926 and made many cinema appearances in the 1930s. Recognized for her early Hollywood career and her contributions to the golden age of cinema, she is one of the longest living stars as of 2024. Her roles in a number of iconic movies created a lasting impression even though she quit acting at an early age. Marilyn Nolden was never in the public eye as an adult, but she has made an occasional appearance at film festivals and gatherings where she is honored for her contributions to the early days of Hollywood. She has discussed her choice to leave the profession and her experiences as a child star in interviews. She is a long-lasting star who lived to be 98 years old in 2024 and saw directly how Hollywood changed. Number 24 on our list is Doc Severinsen. The NBC Orchestra was led by the renowned American jazz trumpeter and band leader Doc Severinsen on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Severinsen has been a prominent personality in music and television for more than seven decades. He is currently 97 years old in 2024. Performing and inspiring musicians worldwide, he is still going strong at this age. Even after leaving The Tonight Show in 1992, Severinsen continued to perform music. He performed live well into his 90s, going on tours with the appropriately named Still Swingin' Tour. He is one of the most enduring figures in American music thanks to his lengthy career, which includes work in jazz, television, and classical music. Doc Severinsen is one of the longest living celebrities still working in the entertainment business as of 2024, at the age of 97. Fans and musicians alike continue to honor his influence on television and music due to his charisma, talent, and love of music, which have elevated him to the status of a cultural icon. Number 25 on our list is Paul Dooley. Before moving on to Broadway, Dooley started his acting career on stage, appearing in off-Broadway shows. His training in improvisational theater also helped him develop his fast wit and comedic timing, which would come in handy later in life. Dooley has worked in cinema and television far into his 90s, despite his advanced age. His continued success in Hollywood is evidence of his extraordinary talent, professionalism, and versatility. Loved as a character actor, Paul Dooley's career embodies the finest aspects of both contemporary television and Hollywood's golden age of film. He's become one of the most admired people in the business thanks to his ability to infuse his roles with warmth, comedy, and complexity. He is still a major figure in the entertainment industry as of 2024 at the age of 96 and his work serves as an inspiration to both fans and other actors. To uncover more intriguing stories among Hollywood celebrities, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.